To set the stationary knives themselves, there is a couple of positions you can have. You use this bolt here, loosen this bolt off, then move the stationary knives into work or out of work depending on how much chop you actually want to do. So just remember though, the more chop you do have on the back end, the more power you are going to use as well for the machine. So just keep that in mind when you do chop, but chop as much as you dare not more than you actually require. For the chaff spreader on the back of the machine, we have the ability to adjust it up or down so that we can spread the chaff wider or narrower. And then coming back to the chopper itself, if you are doing maize, we can fit an extra pulley in here and the pulley now makes the chopper go slower for chopping maize itself. Coming back for the chopper, the chopper and spreader here at the moment is in the swathing position. And then in the swathing position, we do also have this extra guide. And this guide here, we pop into there and then that allows the material to drop into the swath. Because the rotor spins one way and it's a single rotor in the machine, the crop has a tendency to come more towards this side and this will just help guide it into the center of the machine as you go further. For the actual spreader itself, from the spreading position, we can then put it into the chopping position. So to get it into the chopping position, we undo the nut here. And now we can raise it into whatever position we have. We have got three settings, so this is the lowest. We have another two, so we can spread it slightly higher. And then as well with the actual spread itself, it'll then spread the crop. On here with the gate, here we can also increase or decrease the flow of air into the actual spreader. Last but not least, once you put this into chopping, we then have to move the door itself here. The door itself is in the swathing position, pull the pin and now pull the door back. Once it's fully back and latched in, this now will then start, as in the chopper will now start when you engage threshing and now all the material will go through the chopper and then also through the spread itself. This is obviously the active spreader, so we will have some mechanical spreading as well. Once we come round to the back of the machine, we have the spreader itself and under the here, so whether we've got the standard spreader or this type of spreader, we have the handles in here, which now will govern how wide or how narrow we actually spread the crop once it's been chopped. So to do that, all we need to do is loosen this off, pull the handle to make it wider or narrower, and for your crop to be spread.